What's up guys, it's Ryan, and it's been about a year since the last pedal board run through, and um, a lot of things have changed, so I figured I'd run through it again, and this is a pretty, pretty permanent setup, I think. I don't think I'll be switching anything for a while, um, so I'm going to go ahead and run through uh, the signal chain, and then we're going to get to some playing, so I can actually show you what it does. So it starts off with the polytune, which is just the tuner, of course. Um, I like it because that's really easy to see in a dark stage, uh, so that's really nice. Um, got the Walrus Deep 6, which is a compressor, uh, which is just doing like a little bit of compression. Um, it's more felt than heard, and it makes me more consistent as a player uh, by default, which is super nice because I'm lazy. Um, got the Pog, which is just octaves. Um, doesn't get brought out a ton, but I still love it. Have the sunset, which is uh, right now set up as a tube screamer and a fuzz. But usually it's kind of like a, a beefier drive and a fuzz. Um, I just had it as a, a tube screamer because I needed it uh, recently. I've got the morning glory, which is just a super low gain boost slash overdrive for me right now. Obviously you can uh, switch to high gain but I would say this is low game because I like the way it sounds a lot. Um, have the Warhorn, which is kind of an in-between between the uh, Morning Glory and the usual beefy drive on the Sunset. Warhorn into the Strymon Mobius, which is all of my modulations. I'll get into those in just a second. Uh, this into the Ernie Ball MVP, um, which I got from a friend. Or cheap, which is why I have the MVP. Uh, into the Strymon timeline for my delays, Strymon Big Sky for my reverb. I'm gonna have this thing, uh, pick can or pick 10 from a uh, Walrus when I ordered these two. Um, and then that runs into my Kemper right here. I don't know if that's gonna focus. Let me see. Yeah, so I'm running a JMod 100 MB MB4 from Tone Junkies, Tone Junkies, which is a um, the PRS John Mayer uh, um, amp. So yeah, that just runs into there. And I'm working with a Sir uh, Antique T right there. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop the video and set it up and then you can see how it sounds. All right, so I have the camera or my phone set up on a guitar stand so you can see most of what's going on um, you saw all the settings uh, a little bit ago so you should be good to go um, so first off this is my clean sound with a little bit of reverb coming off of the amp <laughs> I guess that's with the compression on or that's with the compression on sorry but this is like truly clean but excuse me but the the deep six is on literally 100 percent of the time when i'm playing so it's actually my clean sound uh more so than not So then that goes into the octave pedal, which let me grab the pick real fast. Right now it's set to just having like a little bit of a little bit more of a lower octave. Usually something like that, and then um, sometimes if like I really need it, um, I'll throw in the fuzz with the uh, sunset and uh, have the octave on at the same time, and it just is a ridiculous sound.
something like that. It's just absolutely ridiculous, honestly. Um, so then that goes into the um, that goes into the morning glory from there. Or I guess I usually have, or the other side of the sunset. Right now, something like this. <laughs> Usually it's something on a little beefier, something like this. So something like that. Then that goes into the morning glory. Which is just like I said, a light overdrive slash boost. <laughs> So that's like middle pickup position with the morning glory on might be my favorite. Um. It's just got a little bit of bite and a ton of bounce and twang, which I'm a super big fan of. Um. So that's how I use it. And then especially if you throw on some uh, like massive reverb, let me move the phone real fast. I can't, let me re-angle it, something like that. Yeah, that'll stay. If you add like a ton of reverb on it. It's like, just a really nice full tone. So for that sort of sound, you, it can't be beat. Then I've got the war horn, which sounds something like this. I think the level knob got it. like that and like chords on the uh, the neck or no the bridge pickup sound just immense and then with um like the other positions again with a ton of reverb Just sound awesome. So that's kind of how I use it. Turn that off, and then we get to the uh, then we get to the um the modulations and the Mobius. So I have uh, a few banks that I use. Uh, here's the basic chorus. Then 
which is just a super, like I said, basic chorus. Um, and next to that, this first bank is kind of my most used effects, uh, which just happen to be chorus and tremolo. So right next to it, I've got the tremolo. Then behind this bank, going bank 99, I've got chorus light, which is just a super subtle chorusing effect. And then next to that, it's literally the same preset, like with the mix styled back essentially, or the level, I guess. Um, and then next to that, I've got sort of like a unified sort of thing. And this was a, uh, a preset that came on the on the pedal. So just I use it as like a light vibrato. Again, if you were to put some reverb on. Just add some movement to super basic lead lines. Um, and if you go up a little bit, I've got a rotary. Which I'm a big fan of, but don't get to use it very often, which is a shame. And next to that I've got the Qtron or the filter or the auto wah or whatever you want to call it. Obvious reasons, my favorite uh, use for the Mobius. It's just a ton of fun to use. So, yeah, and then the next page. There's a, a light phaser. I guess not super light. So for stuff like that. Then I've got this warble setting, which is kind of like a vinyl emulator. So yeah, and those those are kind of it. Those are the main ones that I use. And then if I need something super specific, um, I just make a new patch after that. Then there's the volume pedal, which is pretty self-explanatory. Works exactly how it should. Um, then we have the timeline, and I'll run through those presets real fast. So. On the first page, or on page, or bank, I guess, zero, zero. I've just got the simple dotted and quarter uh, repeats. And they're just digital tape. Um, 
emulations or machines, I guess. Then if we go back one, we have the slap back. basically just a uh, tape delay at a crazy high BPM with like one or two repeats. Um, the next to that, I've got the reverse. And you can hear that it's, it's relatively low in the mix right now. Like relative to the, to the dry signal. Um, so it's, I'll use it as either like a, uh, to create like underlying texture and movement or, or I'll like crank the mix a little bit. have it be a little more prominent and obvious, um, which is what I prefer, but the last time I was using it obviously wasn't the right choice, so. All right, so the next. <laughs> Went the wrong way. Um, then we have the Deluxe Memory Man preset. Which is just a, a bucket delay. So basically delay with a good a good bit of modulation. Um, which is always nice. I'm pretty sure it's on quarter notes. Um, then I found that preset online and just kind of copied it. Then we have dual, which is a, uh, a dual delay, or it's using the dual uh, machine. So it's one of those sounds, um, and that's basically all it gets used for, for that exact kind of part as well on the uh, bridge pickup. Stuff like that, super picky and dry stuff. And then I don't really use the this swell uh, knob or preset very much. Kind of just add some volume on sustained chords, which I don't really do a ton. And then this bit um, delay, it's a kind of bit crushed, uh, the lo fi machine. which I don't ever use live, but for studio stuff, it's a ton of fun. So for st stuff like that, it's super fun, just super interesting texture. And then those are the only ones that I really use. And then after that, we go to the big sky. Um, and I have basically three main, or I guess four, 
nine presets that I'll use on this one. First one is medium, which. <laughs> you can hear it's got like a, a just a short tail so just add some space to the sound um, I'll use this I'll, I'll have this one almost always on if I'm playing live um, just add some body and space to the guitar tone when I'm recording I usually have it off though um, just to, like, I'll add it in later, and it's easier to mix. And then we have Washed. just a super long delay really then we have 90 which is essentially the washed preset but a 90% mix Boing, which is just a spring reverb. Which is just a super short spring reverb. Um, yeah, then it goes into my Kemper, and I'll show you a few of those that I use real fast. So what you've been hearing is kind of my main one. The J mod. But my other kind of main one is this divided by 13. And um, this car slant. style um, and a third or a third power CSR which has like a little bit more grit to it as you can hear or that I use for more grit obviously all of them have a gain on tap and uh, you like can't have more grit but I kind of use this one dirty by default. Um, and then also, uh, I've got a Dumble. That I use for high gain stuff. Um, and that's basically about it. Um, oh, and also, a, a, a 5150 Mark III for like, sort of nonsense. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my, my rig and my setup. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about anything, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.